Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to do active high pass filter using op-amp 741. Uh, this is a circuit diagram for active high pass filter. It consists of three resistors and one capacitor. Here the uh, high pass circuit and it is connected to op-amp. With the help of this circuit, we will try to construct an active low pass filter using Proteus software. In order to add the component, click on the component mode and click on P. First, we have to add the op amp, type it as op amp. Once we type it as op amp, the op amp 741 appears in this list. Just double click on it and that is going to add in this list. Likewise, we also need a resistor type it as a resistor once we type the resistor here we can see that a generic resistor symbol appears just double click on it and that is going to add in the list likewise we also need a capacitor type capacitor in the keywords list here select generic non-electric capacitor just double click on it and that is going to add in this list once we select the required component, click on OK. Now, in order to construct active high pass filter, just click on 741 and click here in this workspace. In order for the sake of convenience, I will make it Y mirror so that the pin number 2 appears on upper side and pin number 3 appears on the lower side. Now, with the help of resistor, we have to construct the low active high pass circuit change the value of resistor make it 1k feedback resistor make it as 1k and here it has 1k Now I will make the connection. It is connected to pin number 6. And here. Now we also need the ground as well as the power. In order to get the power and ground, click on terminal mode. Click on ground. Click on ground and make this connection the input side we also need the power click on power i'll make it y mirror for the sake of convenience click now connect this to pin number seven and pin number four and we have to change its value to change its value just double click on the power and here type is it as minus 12 click ok and here type it as plus 12 click on ok and we have to also have to change the value of capacitor. I will make it as 0 0.1 microfarad. 0 0.1 microfarad. Now we can see that the capacitor value is 0 0.1 microfarad and resistor value 1 kilo ohm. Then the cutoff frequency will be approximately is equal to 1.6 kilohertz. Now it's time to apply the input. In order to apply the input, just click first click on this sign generator generator mode click on sign and connect that to input and we have to also connect the probe at the output click on the probe click on voltage and connect that to output side now it's time to observe the graph in order to draw the graph or in order to get the frequency response just go to graph mode Click on frequency and draw the graph here. Now, it's in order to get the output, we have to add some parameter in this graph. First of all, we have to add this U1 output parameter to this graph. Just click on this and hold it and drag and drop in this graph. Once we drag and drop in this graph, we have to edit 
the some parameter of this graph just click right click on it click on edit property here we can see that as we apply the input as a c1 that is sign we have to select here it as root sign one and we can also change the start frequency and stop frequency of frequency response here i will connect make it as 100 hertz and stop frequency as 1 megahertz click on ok once we add the parameters then plus press space button once we press space button that frequency is going to appear here just maximize this here we can see that this is the frequency response of active high pass filter here we can see the maximum gain the x axis is the gain in db and y axis is the frequency the starting frequency is 100 hertz and the last frequency that the maximum frequency is 1 megahertz since the maximum gain is uh, 6 db if you make minus 3 db that will appear somewhere here and that turns out to be the cutoff frequency of 1.6 kilohertz friends in this way we conduct active high pass filter using the simulation software that is called proteus friends in order to get these kind of very informative video please